right now on ABC 10 News at 4 o'clock after a long wait. Opening day is finally here at Petco Park and fans are back in the stands. Even more people are packing the East Village this afternoon. The Friar faithful thrilled to root for the Padres once again. But those fans who actually got to attend the game in person had a much different experience than ever before. The changes in place to keep everyone COVID safe. ABC 10 News at 4 starts now. Opening day at Petco Park, a long waited relief for Padres fans excited to be back in the stands. People are also spread out throughout downtown enjoying the game. Good afternoon, I'm Kimberly Hunt and we have team coverage of the big day. Leading us off is ABC 10 News anchor Steve Atkinson and sports director Ben Higgins. They're joining us live from Altitude Sky Lounge atop the Marriott gas lamp. Steve, you've got a bird's eye view of today's action and the game is not disappointing right now. Tied up, the people there have to just be very excited at the moment. Uh, Kim, I think everybody's very excited. Everybody's very excited after months and months of this pandemic to have some sense of normalcy. And normalcy for us, we both got the vaccine. We're still six feet apart, so we're doing our best part to, to try and keep uh, COVID away. But, uh, you know, ben, this has just been something that people have been anticipating. And I talked about this earlier with you today, the giddiness is apparent. Yeah, I got to go to some games last season with nobody here. It was a ghost town in the East Village. It's so great to see life back here, people in the ballpark cheering on the Padres. Uh, it's a game. I'm, my heart's not going to be able to take 162 of them like this. As Kim said, tied at seven. Uh, it's going to come down to the wire. Should be a really fun season, Steve. We were talking about this a little bit earlier, too. It's not a bad crowd. About 8,400 people inside the stadium. It looks like an afternoon game. Those are the people who are lucky to get in. We're going to talk about more of that, about that in just a minute. For the most part here around the energy of the East Village, that's what people just want to be a part of. People are just so happy to be out and about. So let's check in with our Mimi Alcala, who's down on the streets with more on that. Mimi. Hey, Steve. Yeah, this is the first time in quite a long time that it feels kind of normal out here in the East Village. Check this out. There's crowds all over enjoying the game, enjoying their food across the street as well. People are just so excited to be out and about enjoying this opening day. Let's go Padres. Padres! Baseball is back and Padres fans can't hide their excitement. It feels amazing being out. You know, it's beautiful weather. We finally get to go into Petco after a year. We waited all of last season to go watch the game and that's all we wanted to do. And now we can come out to the park like it's back to normal and go root on our Padres. It's been a long time away from the ballpark and although there are some coronavirus restrictions and mask requirements, the East Village is filled with crowds, fans of all ages. What does it feel like to finally be out again? Awesome. Very awesome and very good because I like fresh air. So I'm very excited for today's game. I hope they kick some butt today and beat the Diamondbacks. And of course, with the crowds comes support for local businesses. Being in the red tier allows restaurants to seat indoors at a limited capacity and outdoors as well. Fans lined up to support businesses before the game and many restaurants are ready to welcome more people in through the evening. We felt like so much energy because I feel like lots of fans are coming here. They're wearing all their gear. And a lot of the restaurants in the area do have some specials going on for opening day. Uh, so if you're wanting to have dinner outside, you should definitely check that out. We're live in the East Village. Steve, I'll toss it back to you. All right, Mimi, thank you. We're in the middle of the seventh inning stretch right here at Petco Park. You can hear them singing God Bless America right now. Again, about 5,400 fans inside the park. They were lucky enough to get tickets for today's opening day game. A lot of people still trying very hard to get those tickets. And if you do get a chance to get some, you need to know about some major changes at Petco Park. We are all happy to have baseball back, but of course we're still in a pandemic, so the Padres are taking every precaution possible to keep you safe. Not just this you, but you. Social distancing and masks are now a part of everyday life, but so is mobile ticketing. For now, paper tickets are a thing of the past. If you are lucky enough to score a ticket to a Padres game, you first have to download the Major League Baseball ballpark app and create an account. That's where you will find your e-tickets. No contact at all and minimal wait time in line. Easy enough. Easy enough, all contactless, all digital. You can transfer your ticket. It's going to be faster. It's going to be safer. 
Once you're in the park, you will notice it is clean, like sanitized clean. And it won't look like your typical crowd because of COVID restrictions. Fans will be properly distanced and masks are required at all times unless you're eating or drinking. And speaking of where you sit, this is also where you order your food. No need to stand in line. Everything is right here on the ballpark app. You just simply pull up where your seat is located, find out what section you're in, order your food, and when it's ready, they'll let you know you can go up and get it. And for those of you into San Diego's finest craft brew, there is a button for that too. Just click on the beer me to quench that thirst. Same thing goes for merchandise. If you want to buy something, there is no cash. You got to do it by the app. So Apple Pay, Google Pay, maybe Padres Pay, just do it right there. Sorry, sir, your card was declined. Well, clearly I'm just going to have to reload my card. I had some issues there at the merchandise store. Okay, the Padres do know not everybody is tech savvy, including me. So if you do have problems downloading the app, they're going to help you with your tickets. They will help you purchase your food, help you purchase your merchandise that you want. There's also a machine here that will convert cash into credit. Again, no cash is being exchanged whatsoever. So they're going to be here to help you out. A couple of other things you need to know about. Only small clutch purses or fanny packs. Ben's got one. He's going to let me borrow a little bit later. Those are the only types of bags that are allowed here into the park if you do get a chance to get some tickets. Again, we are 7-7 in the seventh thing. We'll continue to have updates here from Petco Park. Kim, we'll send it back to you for now. Steve, I have to wonder, masks are required. Does it look like people are following the rules down there? Yeah, Kim, that's the thing is they want to encourage everybody to wear masks while you're seated here in Petco Park. That is a requirement and they have people walking around checking. They're gonna keep asking you about that. But of course, if you need to eat or you drink, that's the time you can take off your mask. That's the only time. All right, great day down there. We will stay in touch. Talk to you in just a few minutes. And ABC 10 News has a section devoted to Padres opening day. You can test your fryer knowledge with an interactive quiz and see what tickets will cost in different parts of the ballpark. You'll find it all on 10news.com, where we also have a link to join our ABC 10 News Fryer Nation Facebook group. An investigation is underway after a second alarm fire broke out at a recycling yard in La Presa. It started shortly after one o'clock this afternoon in the 9200 block of Hamishaw Road. Crews arrived to find thick black smoke rising from the back of the yard. The fire burned through several cars It jumped to nearby buildings. Firefighters were able to knock those flames down and good news, no one was hurt. Police believe someone deliberately set fire to a home in Mountain View this morning, killing three people inside. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen explains, neighbors describe a heartbreaking scene. Amid the flames, a frantic and wrenching scene greeting firefighters just past 6.15 in the morning at this home on South 38th Street. There were neighbors out front explaining that there was three people trapped inside. Uh, they were trying to put water on the fire. Fire officials say neighbors had heard screams for help. Firefighters had to force their way in. When crews first arrived at scene, we did find security bars that they had to force through to gain entry into the front door. Police say near the front door were the bodies of three adults badly burned. The fire knocked down in about 15 minutes. The only survivor, the family dog, placed in the care of the Humane Society. Within hours, investigators were calling the fire a suspected arson. Based on the information from the the fire department about the cause and origin of the fire. It appears to be intentionally set. Fire officials haven't released a cause or origin, but did tell us the flames and smoke were heaviest in the front of the house. We did spot security bars on several windows, but it's not known if any of those prevented an escape. We are learning more about the victims. A relative of the homeowner tells us the home was being rented out. Neighbors say the residents were a man and his wife, both in their 40s, along with their adult son. The investigation into their deaths has just begun, but police say they do not believe there are any outstanding suspects or any danger to the community. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. We have just learned fire crews discovered a second dog hiding under a shed. Neither appeared to suffer any serious injuries. And anyone with information is asked to call San Diego police or Crime Stoppers. Coming up, the legal battle reportedly brewing that could force the sale of the Chargers. But first, here's a look at who Padres fans are looking forward to watching this season.
My favorite player, I'm going with the pitching staff. Sorry, it's not just one player. We got Darvish and Snell and Musgrove, and hopefully Lamette is back and healthy. Fernando Tatis, uh, the shortstop. Uh, they call him El Nino for a reason. He's fast, he's quick, he's a great asset to the team, and he should be at those prices. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back into Petco Park. Looking for Slam Diego round two. Uh, looking for the boys to make it back in the playoffs and beating some Dodgers up this season. Can't wait for that.